10 seconds to go. That much last time shot. to go. Last shot, last shot time. Kay Dick, three point shot. Yes! yes! Big basket para kay Alan Kay Dick to end this first half. Hi guys, welcome to another episode here in my YouTube channel. Ang ipapakita kong video ngayon is yung 1998 Jones Cup laban po ng Philippines versus the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Let's all watch it. Kay Dick, three point. Starting lineups, Kirito, at sino bang mga tinitingnan natin dito sa, sa laban na ito na, muna sa Saudi Arabia? Pa partner itong number 11 nila, no? yung starting center, Hassan Marwani is 6'9", kanya kasintas lang ni Marlo Aquino. Shooter nila, si um, Al Jihani wearing number 8. And of course, ang iba pang nandyan sa starting lineup ng Saudi Arabia, si number 4, si Abdul Jalil Said. Uh, number 6, si Abdul uh, Khalifa. At yung number 12 nila, Al Busayis. Samantalang ang uh, Philippines, starting out with Marlo Aquino, Vergel Meneses, Jojo Lastimosa, Johnny Abarientos, at saka si, uh, who's his last guy? Si Alvin Patrimonio. Outside shot, number eight. That is Aljehani missing that one, at si Lastimosa retrieves the leather. Apart na nga si Aljehani, kailangan ang binigit natin. He is the shooter of this team, leading scorer of Saudi Arabia when uh, it placed fourth in the last ABC Sarian. Well, the Saudi Arabian team, as we said, is going to be a tough one. They have had the experience together in a first basket. Malasa BBA Centennial team, Verel Meneses, giving the Philippines the lead for the first time. Outside shot, wala pa rin. Rebound picked up by number 12. That is Albusais, and there's going to be a foul against Marlo Aquino. It's Not a good foul given, given up by Marlo one. Aquino, yes. helping out in the defense, but... The number 12 player is uh, six one and a half, and I don't know. Alagay ko kaya kaya naman ni Blanca ni Marlo Aquino tung uh, Albo size who had 17 points in uh, Saudi Arabia's victory over the United Arab Emirates sa uh, ABC last uh, September. Yung apala ng ating mga referees uh, dito sa ating first game. This is the opening day of the Jones Cup. Hong Chi and Dae Yong Kim and ating mga referees. For this uh, opening ng ating 21st Jones Cup. Pilipinas ngayon na may ng bola. Marlo, you know ba? Siya na rin ang gadala, nabangga. And that'll be his second foul this early in the ball game. Two quick fouls committed by the skyscraper. Not a good sign here for uh, Marlo Aquino. Trying to get his game adjusted to the way things are dito sa international rules. Maganda rin depends on number 11 player, no? Si Hassan Marwani standing his ground. Now, partner, uh, we failed to observe yung magandang uh, penetration in Verhel Menezes kanina yes. to score the first two points of uh, the Philippines. No? That was against a zone defense. At mukhang napag-aralan na ni coach team ko no? kung paano talagang uh, um, uh, how to fight against a zone defense. And mukhang uh, yun ang mga leksyon na nakuha niya nung naglaban tayo against the Chinese national team dito po sa Araneta Coliseum. Ito yung last play. A good offensive rebound by Hassan. And yeah, there's going to be a foul. Back to action, Hassan with a semi-hook. Wala. Paltrimonio trying to get that leather. Hassan pa rin, hindi na nipag nalamang. And there's going to be a foul called. A, another foul here against the Philippines. Part there. Again, it's the uh, towering strength of uh, the Saudis no? underneath the boards. Meron silang malaki. Ito nga si Hassan, no? who's 6'9". And Marlo Aquino, parang he's trying to move away from uh, committing his third personal foul. Kanya, ito si Hassan getting uh, several attempts at the hoop. At ngayon siya nasa 15-foot line. Uh, Maswerte tayo, hindi yata masyadong magaling ito si Hassan na tumira sa free throw line. Medyo matanda na ito si Marawani, Hassan Al Marawani, 33 years old already, and a veteran of the Saudi Arabian team, missing his first... Pero hindi naman matanda yung Tietri, uh, kalbo lang. Uh, 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 totoo yan, totoo yan. Maraming magagalit sa akin. <laughs> ito si Lastimosa, medyo okay, matanda na. Pero kita mo naman gumalaw. Lastimosa, getting a basket in the Philippines. As you see, a good-sized crowd here watching this game. Karamihan dyan, mga kababayan natin sa, Pilip sa Taipei na nagtatrabaho. There's going to be a foul called here as uh, the drive by number four, Said. Partner, uh, observation of very early in this game, 
Philippines committing too many fouls. Exactly. Here's the good transition attack of the Philippines, no? Sa tingin ko, no, with a small lineup that Coach Tim Cohn has on the floor, dapat siguro bilisan nila laro, no? There's a steal by nice Lastimosa. Steal. Off that inbound, Abarientos. Pulls up. Lob shot. At nakakosya ng foul. Oh. Again, the quickness of the Philippine team. Lastimosa at si Johnny Abarientos. Lastimosa with a good steal. Abarientos, Lastimosa, well... Pwede natin siguro sabihin, very familiar sila sa isa't isa, no? They do play for the winningest club in the PBA in the 90s, Alaska. And we see the Filipino support coming from our kababayans dyan po sa Taipei. Certainly, it's a welcome uh, sight para sa ating mga bataan. As Johnny Abarientos converts his first free throw. Johnny Abarientos, a veteran of the Hiroshima Asian Games. And now he's back with the PBA Centennial team. The 1996 MVP ng PBA gets both free throws. Parang nakita natin doon sa graphic, Johnny G. Kaya yeah, yung G. Johnny Baka Johnny G, yeah. P. Good. Johnny P. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ito. ito yung penetration. Wala, yung tira. Ano ko oh, minamalas yung si uh, Aljihani. Aljihani, oh. partner. Ah. Abarientos, lead pass. Meneses. Up against uh, number 11, Well, you notice Marawani. that Saudis also have some quickness, no? especially coming from the off-guard position. Nga si Jihani, no? Pero mukhang manipis itong kanyang ng guardia, yung si Khalifa. Ha? Ah, oh. Laban kay Abarientos. Lastimosa from the outside. Three-point shot, yes! Okay, Jojo again, Lastimosa. Again, you see that defense of Saudi, no? So nang ninalaro nila, no? You either take the outside shot, as he did, no? Parang three-two ang ginagawa nila. There were three players up on, up on top and two underneath. And Lastimosa, now uh, the Philippines is on top by six. Another foul called against the Philippines. That's si Lastimosa quickly acknowledging that one. Well, partner, as we know, it's the international rules. You are allowed 17 fouls on the eighth. The opposing team begins to shoot penalties. Pero sa tingin ko, again, no, it's this uh, tendency of the Philippines to commit too many fouls too early in the game. Alam mo siguro, Kinito, one of the points that maybe is also medyo mag-adjust pa tayo, sana itong mga players na to, rhythm nila, anim na fouls eh. And of course, in international competition, lima lamang ang pwedeng uh, makamit ng mga manlalaro as we take a look at Ali Al-Sanahani this is number 4 this is actually actually his name is also Said you know? uh, partner actually tayo um, pangalan po mga tao oh, um, nalilito tayo sa mga pangalan because uh, we have actually the box scores that show different names for the different numbers exactly and uh, actually yung number 4 who took the shot was Said um, iba yung uh, nilagay nilang uh, pangalan doon no? kanina nga when we mentioned yung number 12 si Albosais Iba yung pangalan ng Dropabas, no? And uh, the reason being is that in the beginning of this tournament, the Saudi Arabian team came up with a list of players with different uh, numbers. Yes. At uh, we are going to follow what is actually placed on the box scores. Iba yung mga lumalabas ngayon sa graphics. That's anyway, right. we can also identify them by numbers. <laughs> Mahirap kasi sa mukha eh. Pare-parehong bilog ang ulo. <laughs> Samantala, si Meneses got another basket. He has four points in the game now. Meneses again gets inside, kicks it out. Patrimonio, back pass, Kilastimosa. And then the Galaruna Tonga Centennial team. Well, Mahikpit and you depends as a lot. That's no? right. Menezes fix goes up. That'll be short. Well, the Saudis are giving the Filipinos a chance to shoot from the outside. Basta hindi la sila makalayap. Siguro sabi ng Saudi Arabia, okay lang. Yung American coach ng Saudi Arabia, Pat Stewart, is taking this gamble. Aquino's inside. Curls goes up with a semi hook. Tatal book palabas. Riba na puro tanama ni Lastimo ni Abarientos. Johnny inside the Patrimonio. Nice shot from the captain. And the Philippines now on top by nine points here. Beautiful pass. Ang kamalian nun ng Saudis is that when they went crashing for the defensive boards, dalawa lang ang nandun, no? The three other Saudi players did not try to gang rebound. Kanya nakakuha ng offensive rebound ng Philippines. Here's Said. Inilipas ki Aljihani. Aljihani goes inside. Masyado malakas ang tira. Meneses gets the rebound. Part 90 mid si Jihani kayo, no? no? Si Marlo. Marlo oh. Nakita niya si Marlo. Nag-iba yung kanyang tira. Binalik oh, ni Marlo. Oh, a great pass by Lastimosa. And the Philippines now pounding that Saudi Arabian defense. At abanti na po tayo ng uh, labing isang puntos. Part very fluid ang passing play ng Philippines, no? And they're getting a lot of good shots from up close because of their quickness at saka yung transition nila. Here's that last great play. Lastimosa gets a good look back to his former teammates of Pure Foods and Patrimonio delivers. And the Philippines delivering a resounding message here. Sa pagpapasimula ng ating Jones Cup, we're on top here and we'll be back.
We're back. Abante po ang Pilipinas ng labing isang puntos. At the moment, 15 to 4. Well, you'll have to bear with us dahil as far as the time is concerned, medyo maasa tayo dun sa ilalabas na oras dito sa ating uh, Screens in the meantime, there's going to be a foul or a traveling violation. Laban kay Marlo Aquino. Partner, maganda yung placard na nakita natin kanina. Oh, Hawak maganda nun. Na. <laughs> overseas Filipino nandun sa Taipei. No? Kayang-kaya ang kalaban KKK. Iba na pala ang uh, kahulugan ng KKK ngayon. No? <laughs> Ayan ang ating oras. 15-29 remaining dito po sa ating first half. The Philippines on top by 11 points laban sa Kingdom of Saudi Arabia dito sa 21st Jones Cup. Well, partner, key point that we must make here is yung defense ng Philippines. Napakaganda. Na holding Saudi Arabia to only four points. At saka yung si, uh, yung kundan ng top gun, si Al Jihani, no, has not been able to buy a basket. That's Marami right. na siyang tira, both coming from the outside and the inside. At talagang mukhang markado, no? Well, I I'm not too sure if the Philippines really is king its defense on Jihani, but I think overall, magandang defense ang pinapakita ng Philippines. And this is, I think, a very positive sign for us. Here's Al Jihani, and he draws the foul laban kay Alvin Patrimonio. Siya lang talaga ang tumitira ng consistent. Uh -oh. si Jihani, no? He's taking a lot of uh, attempts, and mukhang may lisensya ito si Jihani to go for the basket. Pat Stewart, nakita niyo po ang head coach ng Saudi Arabia. A couple of substitutions actually checked in para sa Saudi Arabia during that timeout. Uh, si Falata is now taking on the point guard position. Si uh, Mohammed, number 10, is also in the ball game para sa Saudi Arabia together with number 9, Ali ah Ahad uh, Magrabi ito. Al Samahani. Yeah. Magrabi is the name that's uh, coming naman. out. No? Kanya, well, in the lineup that we have, Magrabi is not supposed to be playing <laughs> for Saudi Arabia. Kanya, Hey, hindi natin maintindihan ito, no? As far as our lineup is concerned, it is Jihani. Yes. And let's go by that, no? Uh, let's ignore those names uh, being flashed because we do have the uh, final and corrected version of the lineups uh, with us here. Ikagaya naman ng uh, natin, ng mga Chinese siguro. Hindi rin nila nakikilala itong mga to. Here's Al Jihani, laban kay Abariantos. He goes all the way to the basket and gets a good layup. That's the Al Jihani. Cuts down that Philippine lead at the moment. Johnny Barrientos, siya nagdadala ng bola. We're on top by eight here. Fourteen and a half remaining. Patrimonio gives it back. And they will set it up once again. Nakasona ng bahagya itong ano ha. Medyo tao, man zone. Yes, parang match-up zone ang ginagawa nila. No? And you really have to know, you have to read kung ano klase ng depensa ang nilalaro ng kalaban. There's a shot from the baseline, Johnny Barrientos. Beautiful shot as we take a look at our head coach, Tim Cohn. In his familiar neck and tie, necktie... And shirt outfit, sablayan tira sa labas, offensive rebound, Said. Wala pa rin, Marlo Kino finally controls after that uh, miss by Mohammed. Partner, again, uh, more than one attempt on the floor for Saudi Arabia. And that's not a good uh, sign, ano, Finito. Especially when you start uh, meeting opponents na medyo marunong mag kumuha ng second chance points. Exactly. Ha? Dapat eh... Uh, tumigas yung uh, offensive rebounding or rather defensive rebounding ng Philippines at saka yung box out nila no? uh -oh. to make sure that the big men of Saudi Arabia are not in position for the offensive rebound ito yung huling foul number 9 picking up the foul that is Al Sahani off that drive by the aerial voyager just let me correct myself Al Samahani ang kanyang pangalan yung number 9 the Philippines on top by 8 at the moment 15-7 Partner, you can just imagine the feeling of pride that is uh, now being felt by the Filipinos. Now, with a 10-point lead, 13.42 to go. Yes, it's already a 10-point lead at the moment. Lastimosa, nasa labas. Limpot is now in the ball game. That may foul na naman. And together with Dennis Espino, they checked in a while back. Para oh, partner, uh, siguro pwede natin sabihin na uh, that ibang-iba na ang galaw ng Philippine team no? kaysa sa galaw na pinakita nila against China oh, in the exhibition oh, game. No? Right. You notice ang crisp passing nila, no? tsaka walang tentative motion. Ang pagpasa nila, uh, they know where their teammates are and they're moving very well. Now, si Dennis Espino nasa loob. Here's the pass to Jun Limpot and there will be a foul. Barnawi, number five, will pick up the foul. Pinapik pa sa ulo. <laughs> Binatukan pa yung tatong... Uh, player na na-foul, na naka-foul kay Jun Limpot. Ano ba ang balita mo dito, Kinito? Meron ba itong uh, interpreter o ito ba ay... Because their, their coach is an American, Pat Stewart, no? And, uh... Well, pagkaintindi ko, um, quite a number of uh, Saudis also know how to speak English. Speak the same English, way that uh, uh, Tayo Rito, um, 
English is our uh, second so language. So, hindi masyado nagkakaproblema dyan. Ano? Oh, but I think uh, ito si Pat Stewart, uh, also as I understand it, has been in the Middle East coaching for many, many years now. Here's a... Turnover, traveling. Uh, oh, traveling Dinawag violation. Dinawag sa Pilipinas. As we take a look at Tim Cohn. Mukha yata mas composed kayong si, <laughs> si Coach Tim Cohn. Ah. Very relaxed actually. Uh, oh. In fact, his attitude towards this tournament has been uh, something that's very encouraging. Alam natin na uh, dito po sa Jones Cup mayroong cash reward. The Philippines was actually invited to come over na libre yung kanilang airfare pero sabi ni Tim Cohn, hindi, hindi, gusto namin lumaban doon sa cash reward dahil kumpiyansa-kumpiyansa kami dito. So that's a very encouraging sign para sa kupunan ng ating uh, national team. There's a three-point shot. Right yes, there. that's a PLDT long-distance shot mula kay number nine, Al Samahani. 17-10 is our score. Lead is down to seven para sa Pilipinas. Menezes, top of the key. Espino ngayon. Dinidikitan ng gustong-gusto. Pinangga. Espino goes up. Fall away. Jumper wala. Rebound. Picked up by Muhammad. Outlet goes to Al-Samahani. Pasok ngayon sa loob. Running shot from Muhammad. But that'll be traveling. At nagtataka si Al-Samahani. Part of the crowd here. Here in Taipei, this is the 21st Jones Cup. A lot of very prominent names have played it as a Jones Cup, so this is a very prestigious tournament. Part that, that's right. No, it's 1977. This tournament was organized and uh, really to spread goodwill oh. um, among basketball playing countries under the auspices of the Chinese Taipei uh, government. Even Carl Malone has played in this tournament. Chris Mullin, Kevin Johnson, many of the uh, future pros at NBA, no? Um, got international uh, experience playing dito sa Jones Cup. Falata, Aljahani, Elabas. They move it around. Falata at the corner. Aljahani pa rin. Si Aljahani parang si Steve Smith ng Atlanta. Ha? Oh. Yung tura niya. Ha? They look for the low post. Narito ngayon. Sumaksak sa loob. Number five. That's uh, Barnawi and he will draw foul against Jun Limpot. You know, one thing that the Filipinos also must be uh, must be aware of is that there is a 30 second shot clock no, sa amateur rules no? so yung kwadra ng defensa has to be consistent and steady for 30 seconds that's right hindi lang for 24 seconds oh. kasi sa PBA actually hindi naman masyadong uh, uh, um, sinasagad nila yung 24 second shot clock no? they take their shots uh, in between the 15 second to the 20 second uh, area no? but here they have to make sure that yung kwadra ng defensa is there up to the last second of the shot clock are now we at the free throw line again iba na naman yung kanyang uh, iba yung graphics na lumalabas dyan, ah. but from our official uh, list here Barnawi po yung kumuha ng free throws and he cuts down that Philippine lead to just 5 17 to 12 this is the closest that the Saudis have come outside shot oh, oh yes one. Kenneth Doremdes PLDT yes. long distance shot para kay the Remdes. Matagal-tagal na hindi nakaka-score yung Philippines, no? Oh. Um, there is also a tendency to be complacent, no? Kung para nakikita ng Filipino na medyo kayang-kaya yung kalaban, they tend to relax, no? Both offensively and defensively. Ito, another offensive rebound. Laban ng sa rebound, napulot ni Verhel Meneses. And the Philippines back on the attack. Avanti po tayo ng siyam na puntos, 20 to 11, or rather 20 to 12. Now you notice that Dennis Espino is playing center. Eight. Si uh, Marlo Aquino picked up two early fouls at hindi pa uh, pinapasok ni coach team kung si EJ file. So we really don't have a massive center inside. But well, taking care of business again from the outside, si Johnny, A. Johnny Abarientos. And we can expect that from the flying A. Couple of baskets now, and the lead is back to 10 points. Well, para sa Pilipinas. You watch the matchup here at center. No, napakalaki ni Hasan. No, he's 6'9, going up against 6'6, six, six, Dennis Espino. Oh, so, uh, pero kinakatawa ni Dennis, eh, no? Uh -oh. oh, he got pass. Medyo masyadong malayo yung pasa para kay Meneses. And that'll go back to the Saudis. I think, uh, bola pa ng Philippines. Kung tita ng kakamali. And then, bola nga ng Saudi. Yes. That was a turnover. Well, half. Or we've gone through half of this first half already. Uh, the Filipinas boys dominated this ball game so far. They have not yet looked back here. This is their biggest lead, 10 points, and a bad pass by uh, Atala, Hassan Atala. Well, Magadain depends on Dennis Espino. Now, first of all, you notice that the big man was not there at the low block. So being pushed out into the high block area 
and he wanted to pass it off to a teammate who was trying to cut. Eh, wala na siyang vision kasi maganda yung defense ni Dennis Espino. Durante sa naman, laban naman, nag-iinit ng maaga. Si Captain Marvel and Kenneth Durandes now has four points in the first half. At ang Pilipinas with their biggest lead of 12, 24 to 12. Part there, nice perimeter artillery pinapakita ng Philippines. No? They need to be able to sharpen up on the outside shooting when they're going up against much taller teams. Something that we didn't show against the Chinese. Talagang kulang na kulang tayo sa opensa at that time. In the meantime, another foul called here against Jun Limpot. Nakikipagbanggaan siya dito kay Parnawi. And Limpot will pick up his second foul now. Now again, the matter of adjusting to the referee's calls. No? There are some referees that will allow that kind of uh, contact. Mm -hmm. Yung pushing away, no? Anyway, uh, wala naman sa kanya yung bola, yung uh, na-foul. Yet, uh, in this situation, uh, the referees are calling it tight. So, in international rules, ang hirap dito is that you are going to be facing different referees of different nationalities yes. every game. So, you have to know very early kung ano ang estilo nila. No? Oh. Will they call touch fouls? Will they allow incidental contact? Dapat eh, uh, very early on, mag adjust na ang mga player on the floor no? so that they know what kind of calls are going to be allowed and what kind of calls will not. Sa Mandala, ito si Barnawi has made a living from the free throw line, four out of four, and he cuts down the Philippine lead to ten. Espino curls. Medyo nadulas ng konti si Dennis. Hinabol ni Jun Limpot. But it'll go back to the Saudi Arabians. Well, si Jeffrey Carriaso, pinasok na ni coach uh, Tim Cohn. But you notice, no? Hindi masyadong skillful ito mga Saudis, no? Oh. That move of uh, Dennis Espino, if he only didn't have uh, lose his footing, he would have had a nice jump shot inside the paint. Si Dennis Espino, actually, Ginito, has uh, a little bit of an axe to grind against the... Well, hindi naman sa Saudi oh, Arabia. Oh. Tandaan natin na ito, naglaro minsan ng Santa Lucia on a uh, parang exhibition. Let's take a look at this layup by Abarientos. And Dennis Espino broke his jaw in a fight oh. back in the Middle East. So, medyo ito si Dennis hindi masyadong magandang uh, paningin ito ngayon. Samantala, may foul na itinawag laban kay Espino as he reached in there in the penalty. Ito yung transition attack ng Philippines. No? Centennial team on the go! The flying A! Pull up jumper on the run. Ito, panuri natin muli. Sweet. Alam mo, ang ganda ng uh, body balance ni Johnny Abrientos. Oh. The way he stopped, tapos he lead away from the defense. Akala nung kanyang defender, makakakuha siya ng offensive foul. Eh. But all of a ah, sudden, oh. Abrientos just pulled up. Alam mo si Johnny, even before he took that shot, tinignan niya muna kung meron siya mapapasahan. When he saw that the lanes were, were clogged, sabi niya, eh, dapat tirahin ko na lang yung, uh, yung bola. And sure enough, no? Uh, ito yung big man nila, 6'9", is back at the stripe. At si Johnny Abarientos on the bench. Johnny Abarientos already with at least 6 oh. points in this ballgame. A good offensive rebound mula kay Said. Diyan tayo natatalo. No? Oh, so far. Yung, oh, oh. Outside oh. shot. Oh, oh, yes! PLDD long distance shot para kay Falata. Well, and that's the second uh, for the Saudis. Definitely, we really have to work on stopping the other team from getting offensive rebounds. Kung medyo magaling-aling itong Saudi, and they know how to be able to score on second, third attempts at the basket, then this lead of the Philippines will be much, uh, will be, will be, will not be as big as it is now. Another shot, Malaki Kenneth Duremdes, who has six points here in the first half. And Captain Marble. Mainit ang mga Pinoy. Shooting well from the outside. Oh, si Carriasa is in the ball game together with EJ File. The Abarientos is now sitting on the bench, so we don't really have a legitimate point guard. Another outside shot. Patay na naman! Ba? Setting up from the outside. Number six. This is Khalifa. And Coach Tim Cohn has a lot of, to say to his assistant coach, Chot Reyes, also on the bench there. As we see this uh, pushing foul called against Albosais as Junipo tried to get to position. But he can technical. <laughs> Uh, mukhang bibigyan ng free throws. Oh, sabi ng number 12 player, eh, pinamahan daw siya sa, ma sa mukha. Ah, hindi pala. Wala pa sa penalty ang Saudi Arabia. Medyo matipid yata sa foul ng Saudi, no? Uh, yes. Unlike the Philippines. Uh, I think the Philippines is gambling a lot on defense. Also, they're really not used to the international calls, no? Oh. Kasi sana yung mga, uh, mga players natin, no? Sa PBA style, no? Which is uh, the Bangaan. professional game. Banggaan, oh. yes. Uh, at uh, yung incidental contact, hindi tinatawag. Um, so I guess uh, it's a matter of getting used to the international rules. Kaya tayo, um, uh, we are giving up too many fouls. Good defense, Malaki Albosay is taking that ball away from Jun Limpot. Inside pass. Pero may passing play din ang Saudi. Ito, pero oh. wala na sa pwesto. Oh, good steal. Nakagawan si EJ File. Si Albosay is. 
Gil Lebas. Ito na naman yung tira Outside gamit sa Lebas. Outside shot Makes it this time. EJ Fial gets the rebound. Alam mo, hindi naman talaga maganda yung, ano, yung stroke nung... Uh, oh, yung parang player, tinutulak, you know, eh, okay. no? So from the outside, that's not a good stroke. Man. Limpot will go to the stripe. As Ayan. he tried to go up, may foul, may tinawag. Let's watch it again from this angle. Limpot wide open underneath. And the big deal going Ooh. up, challenged by number seven, Palata. Si Jun Limpot will be sent to the free throw line. And sabi nga ni Coach Tim Go, no? when he has the luxury of being able to play any starting five from his 12 players, what more can you ask for, no? <laughs> this Agagali is an ideal team. Ng, uh, ng, uh, dream team eh, no? Oh, talagang dream team ito. And uh, it is a team that's certainly capable of winning the gold medal sa Asia, no? Ang uh, problema nga lang, nung naglaro tayo against uh, uh, China do sa ating exhibition, wala pa tayong famil familiarity sa isa't isa, no? That's right. And uh, yan naman ang asset ng China. Pero kung talagang titingnan natin, talent for talent, yung man for man, eh walang tatalo sa atin. The PBA Centennial Team and a lot of these teams, uh, Jones Cup, are, are already aware of the reputation of our population. In fact, the coach of Saudi Arabia, so take a look at that PLDT long distance shot again. Al Jihani getting that one. That uh, coach of Saudi Arabia, si Pat Stewart, said that uh, nga nila and some of his players are in awe of the, <laughs> of the professional players in the Philippines. Well, part that because uh, here, this is a foreign country uh, for the Filipinos, but uh, since arriving in Taipei, they have been mobbed. Uh, <laughs> eh, kasi sa eh, sige, mga... sa Pilipino, oh, kababayan natin. At saka sa eh. overseas workers. Parami exactly. kasi tayong mga overseas workers, not only uh, in China, but also in the Middle East. Kanya, kilala kilala itong mga player natin. At uh, alam naman natin, yung mga basketball heroes natin, mga celebrities yan. Oh, basketball is just not a game here. It's oh, real yes. passion. Nice pass. And Dennis Espino converting on that finger roll off a great pass by Kenneth Doremdes. By and the Philippines it, yes. again going up here. It's a transition attack. Once you have good transition offense and you're hitting the shots from the outside, as the Philippines is, there's very little Saudi Arabia can do to beat the Philippines. Just shown in that uh, instance, Dennis has been unmolested for that layup. The Philippines on top by nine, and there's going to be another foul here. Al Jahani. Ito binabangga na si Dennis Espino. And Espino is looking to work the triangle. No? Yan naman talaga ang ginagawa ng, uh, ng Philippine team. Every opportunity they can to run the triangle, they will. At si Pat Stewart, mukhang galit na galit na. Because, uh, and he's not mad at the referees. I think he's mad at his players. <laughs> Kasi binangga si Dennis Espino. Eh, wala namang kabuluhan yung foul na yun. Espino was just set, trying to set up the play. He was not uh, in the act of shooting. He was not even uh, uh, in a zone to be able to take a good shot. Only five and a half remaining in our first half. The Philippines on top by nine. Hindi pa po tayo nilalamangan dito sa larong ito. Started like a house on fire and we have kept that uh, intensity up. Especially this man, Kenneth Duremde, six points already. Make oh, that beautiful. eight and a great drive for and Captain Marvel. Kenneth Duremde, and he used the pick set by EJ Fall from the outside. No? When the triangle offense yon, which shows here that Coach Tim Cohn is now varying his offensive styles. Ayon yung maging predictable. Oh, oh. Muntik na magawa na is now with the leather. Inilabas niya Al Jihani. They move it around. Here's Khalifa almost losing that one. And another foul will be called against Jeffrey Cariaso. And damning foul yes. of the Philippines. And that's a penalty down Philippines. So again, two free throw situation here for Saudi Arabia. That's Jeffrey Cariaso. You know, that's also the problem that Tim Cohen faces. No? Sa dami ng mga magagaling ng player niya. As soon as they get off uh, the bench and report for work, their energy is so much, no? Uh -oh. They're so eager to play, and sometimes they commit the fouls because of their energy level in playing defense. Eh, ano? Eh, Anta asin. Eh. Pero kaya nga sila sabi ni Tim Cohn, I'd rather have that problem than to have a problem where I don't have players. And oh, certainly, without it, a doubt, oh. Talagang itong kapuna na to, eh, kahit na siyono hugutin mo, alas. I think it's just a matter of getting used uh -oh. to the pace of the international game. And uh, ibang iba to, no? You're playing twenty, uh, two thirties. Uh, uh, two 20-minute halves, no? That's right. And uh, you have a shot clock that's 30 seconds instead of 24. At saka yung uh, personal fouls, you're disqualified from the fifth, not from the sixth. Maraming uh, variations sa ating uh, rules now as we take a look at Khalifa. Well, his name there is Obaid. Obaid. Sa so, listahan natin, wala si Obaid sa Taipei, no? <laughs> in the original list nandun, but in the final box scores that we have, Obaid did not show up for Taipei. Kanya, eh, I'm sure the... I'm sure they'll, they'll make the corrections uh, in the next 
few games Let's now. hope, pero mukha yata yes. gawa na yung mga graphic nila. <laughs> no? ko. Anyway, we'll stick to our uh, list here provided by the organizers. Oh, nice pass again. Nagmula kay Limpot. Nakita si Kenneth Duremdes. And Duremdes has been having a field day here already with 10 points in the ball game. By the way, Rasella is now in the ball game. Pinalta niya kanina si Dennis Espino. Corner jumper. Tumalbog ng dalawa. Napunta kay Olsen Rasella. Tinapik niya. Hinabol. Rasella picks it up. Part there si Rasella. Again, yes. the hustle play in keeping that ball alive with that nice tap. He's our second point guard in the team. At siya ngayon na nagdadala ng, uh, ng bola. Siya na rin na nagtitimon. Well, partner, isang observation natin dito. No? Sa tingin ko, nababasa na ng Philippines kung anong klaseng depensa. Oh, ay, ang ganda na naman yes. ng dito. Again, they're reading where the defense is. Kanya, they're able to get those easy shots. That's the second straight time na nakawala ang Philippines from inside. Kasi basa-basa na nila yung depensa ng Saudi Arabia and they're able to slide in and penetrate. At hindi na sila napipick up ng depensa ng Saudi. At ito si Pat Stewart, litong-lito na po mga kaibigan. Eh, kanya, sa pinaggagawa ng ating kuponan. Puti-puti na din ang buhok <laughs> ni Pat Stewart. Nakakalbo na rin. <laughs> Alam mo, I'm sure he's feeling very frustrated and exasperated. Nakikita niya ang kanyang team. Ang kanyang team. Meron silang uh, potential to shoot from the outside. Meron silang malalaking uh, uh, mga player, 6-9 uh, player. Uh, yung nga si Hasan pero they're not able to execute although here they have a chance to score again from the 15 foot line you know one thing that's very common or very noticeable dito sa Kupunan ng Saudi Arabia is they're very lean huh? hindi masyadong bulky they, they're not very high jumpers as well pero makikita mo na mabibilis yes pero yung skill level no? you can see very inferior sa atin uh -oh. uh, yung kanilang dribbling and ball handling ability medyo suspect uh -oh. at saka yung kanilang depensa hindi nag adjust uh -oh. and that's the reason why we've been able to put that ball in up close at wala na yung defense ron. We're scoring unmolested layups because yung defense nila has not adjusted. Well, let's see what they're trying to do here. I think they're trying to play a man-to-man. -man. May libre na naman doon. Nalusutan oh, ni Carriazo. Yes. Nilaglag. Nilabas ni Kenneth Doremdes. Pull-up jumper. High lap. Mm -hmm. Wala. Rebound. That may lose ball foul against Jeffrey Carriazo. Actually, camouflage zone ang ginagawa nila. No? That matchup zone. Oh. Um, they're playing man-to-man up high but once you're able to bring the ball inside nawawala na yung man to man because they're playing zone inside kanya tayo nakakawala oh. for easy layup shots and ma madalas eh sumusugal sila sa agaw oh. Oh. in the meantime coach Tim Cohn tapping Marlo Aquino back to action here oh, medyo nagulat yata si Marlo <laughs> nakikita mo naman kinito yung mga tao sa likod oh, puro Pilipino yung oh. nagpapalakpakan dyan and it's really a nice sign here na ang dami nating supporters dyan po sa Taipei para sa Jones Cup it's actually a rainy evening in Taipei, but nonetheless, the Filipino crowd has come out to support their team, our team, ang PBA Centennial team. Ito number four player ng Saudi Arabia, kamukha ni George Gervin. <laughs> Pero yung mata yata, ewan ko kung, uh, kung saan nakafocus eh. May konting diferensya. Uh -huh. A ten-point lead para sa Pilipinas. Up against the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in our first game here in the Jones Cup. PLDT long distance, oh, that yes! again! Kenneth Dorendes is red hot! And he's going to be a execution marked man. That was a pattern play. Exactly. And again, an adjustment on the part of Coach Tim Cohn. That was a three-point shot. At alam natin si Coach Tim Cohn, madalas niyang sinasabi, he does not believe in the three-point shot. Uh -huh. But dito sa international game, partner, that's a basic weapon that you need to have. Maybe not in the PBA, but in the international game, you need a three-point shot. And it looks like Coach Tim Cohn has adjusted even his philosophy as far as three-point shooting is concerned. But we have to remember na ang three-point line dito sa international competition is shorter than the pro line exactly. so definitely we have the yes. range to make those shots oh, oh. Uh, alam mo sa tansya ko it's about mga 2 feet shorter eh. malamang that's a big uh, that's Malaking a big difference oh. inside pass kay Malo na bitawan ni Malo Aquino tumatakbo ngayon ang mga Saudi Arabian layup nasapal ni Malo Aquino from behind <laughs> Great block by Marlo Aquino. Well, medyo awkward na yung tira ng number 7 player. No? Si and Marlo, Palata. Yes, and Marlo Aquino just read why that shot was going. Ito, may crossover dribble din ito, ha? Pero out of balance na siya. And from behind, Marlo Aquino not taking the chance in putting that ball inside. No? Hindi na nga tumalon si Marlo Aquino. Eh? At mababa naman lumundag itong si Palata din. By the way, Alan Kaidik is also in the game now. Check back. Well, si Palata while partner back. is... Uh, 5-11 going up against a 6-9 player kaya kaya <laughs> here's the foul and looks like an offensive foul and again alam mo kawawang kawawang natin si Pat Stewart palagay ko pakatapos sa lulung ito bugbog sarado sa uh, sa sabon itong mga <laughs> not only so that eh. 
mas uh, mawawala yata ng buhok ito si Patsyo. <laughs> That's our score mga kaibigan. Two and a half remaining. Again, we welcome you dito sa ating opening day ng Jones Cup. Noli Iyala po kasama si Kinito Henson. Outside shot. Oh, Tunlin Pot. Yes. Another one. This is gonna be another PLDT long distance shot in the Philippines now. Yes. Raining on, raining in the points. Well, partner, very intelligent play of Olsen Rosella. He drew the defense towards him. And it was a shot from the outside. Napawi ka agad. Retaliation. Oh, ni Falata. And that cuts down the Philippine lead back to 12 after going up by as many as or just just a two-point shot here so he is still at 14. Dalawang Falata naglalaro for Saudi Arabia no? Dalawa din Barwani so there are two sets of brothers playing here for Saudi Arabia. Yan ay na isang mukhang magkapatid oh. Dalawang Falata, dalawang Barwani. Barnawi. Okay, here's a beautiful pass coming from uh, Alan Kaidik. Kita mo naman si nagkasaan ni Jeffrey Cariaso. Si number seven, si Alumad Isa Falata and Jeffrey Cariaso at the free throw line. Ito naman si Tokayo is now on the on the at the stripe. Pero Tokayo because ang middle name nito ay Wakin eh. Oh, Jeffrey Wakin Cariaso. Tingnan ko magtanong okay. eh. <laughs> Kanya, pwede nating uh, tawagan itong kinito din. Wag na, wag na, wag na natin tawagin. Wag na natin tawagin. Hindi, pagagalit si Jeffrey. Medyo, isa lang yung kinito na ano. Sa mundo, tama na yung isang kinito. Jeffrey Cariaso, Mr. Mok, tuloy, tinawag mo kinito, nag-mintis tuloy. Jeffrey J, yan, Joaquin. Jeffrey Joaquin Cariaso. Okay na, okay na. Number 12 is his number. Dalawang mintis. Kaya pala kinito. Ito na, kuha na pala ng Philippines. Back to Cariaso. Oy, wala pa rin. Offensive foul pa ang itinawag kay Cariaso. At mukhang inalat pamula ng tinawag na Joaquin. Mukha yata, mukha yata. Offensive foul to miss free throws. Not his night, Jeffrey Cariaso. Huwag na natin sabihin Joaquin. Para bumalik yung magandang laro ni Jeffrey. Team manager. Isang Joaquin yun, si team manager. Isang Joaquin din yun. Joaquin Trillio also in Taipei for this uh, Jones Cup. Okay, make signal for Coach Tim Cohn to uh, press the defense. At merong uh, konting pressure noon sa backcourt. Under two minutes to play. Ito po sa ating first half. The Philippines has dominated this first half. Olsen Rosella, binobulabog. Alam mo, si Olsen talagang very intense when he plays defense, no? Oh, Alsanahani takes a long three-point shot. Wala, Alan kay Dick. Abante na si Olsen, pero natapik. And it goes back to the Saudis. Not a good pass coming from uh, Alan Gaidik. No? He should have just taken his time. Nandun yung defense ng Saudi. Albosais, nasa posting ngayon. Number five, that's Barnawi. Another follow up, wala pa rin. He gets his own miss. Once again, puts it up, wala pa rin. And the Saudis getting a lot of attempts here yes. in the first half. Now, when, you're, when the Philippines is playing against China, you cannot afford those offensive uh, rebounds being given up by uh, the Philippine team. Very awkward yung mga tira. Alan kay Dick from the outside. Kumalog. Tapik. Napunta kay Jun Limpot. And there's going to be a foul here. The trigger man. Very frustrated with that one. He had an open look at the basket. At may foul na itinawag. This one will go against Falata. Ito si Pat Stewart. Hindi niya ata umupo. <laughs> Palagi na rin nakatindig. Oh. Aha. Inaalas ka pa yata nung nasa likod siya. <laughs> Inaayos niya ang buhok niya. Kanya... Oh. Oh, eh. Mukhang ang foul na tinawag against the Philippines, ha? Eh? Yes, there was a foul. Si Jeffrey Cariaso tila ang tinawagan ng foul on that rebound play, so that will mean two free throws. And again, the penalty situation working against the Philippines. Yan dapat ang pag-ingatan ng Philippine team, no? The penchant of uh, committing too many fouls and putting the other team into, pe into penalty very early. Kanina pa actually nagsushooting ng penalty ang Saudi Arabia. Napakarami. No? Uy, tumalbog palabas yung tira ni Mokitar Falata. 6-6. And he's... Uh, Yan yung isang falata. Kamukha, 29. Kamukha naman yung isang falata, yung maliit. Ito, tama ang pangalan. Ganito. Oh, tama nga yan. Oh. Sa wakas. <laughs> May tumugma. <laughs> Under a minute to play. Abante po ang Pilipinas ng tatlo, or labing tatlo, 45-32. In our first game here in the Jones Cup. Limpot, binigay kay Jeffrey Cariaso. We're Cariaso sees an opening, goes up. Play. Wala. Rebound goes to Falata. And they're pushing it up. Number seven, that's uh, Ahmad Falata. Here's Albosais. Back to Ahmad Falata. Albosais now with the leather. Falata is open for the three. This one will not go. Cariaso with a big rebound. Well, you notice the offensive uh, movement in Saudi Arabia. Palaging may isang tirador oh. from three-point line. No? If they can't get the ball to the post, they will always try to kick it out. No? Meron palagi silang shooter sa labas. Okay, less than 10 seconds to go. That much last time shot. to go. Last, last shot time. Kaidik, three-point shot. Yes! yes! 
big basket para kay Alan kay Dick to end this first half. And what a game the Philippines has played inside, outside, you name it, Kinito. And they've really played well today inspired by this huge Filipino crowd. A big, big first half. Alan kay Dick with a PLDD long distance shot ng Pilipinas po. Abante ng labing anim na puntos. After 20 minutes of action here in the Jones Cup, 48-32, we'll be back with more of our first game here in the Jones Cup as we take a look at the Trigger Man in action. The halftime score is 48 to 32. Lamang po tayo ng 16 points. Uh, medyo maganda po ang start natin kahit na mas matatangkad sa atin itong Saudi Arabian team. Uh, Skills-wise po lamang tayo sa kanila. Kaya tayo nakagkaroon ng ganitong advantage. Uh, kung mapapansin nyo sa statistics, parehas pong nakascore ng 5-3 points ang bawat uh, team. Kaya lang po, sa attempts nagkatalo, tayo po 5 out of 6 3 points, uh, samantalang sila 5 out of 14 attempts. Pag, pagdating po sa free throw, ganun din po, tayo po nabigyan lang ng 6 na attempts, nakamiss po tayo ng 3, samantalang sila 15 out of 22 attempts. And ang pinakamalaki pong uh, pagkakaiba is yung sa 2-point field goals. Uh, 15 out of 25 attempts po tayo Samantalang sila is 1 out of 17 attempts So yun po So sama-sama po natin panoorin itong second half And tingnan po natin ang magiging resulta just a few seconds into the second half now. Ang Pilipinas po nagtapos ng ating first half With a 16-point lead, 48-32 At sa kasalukuyan, naghahanda na itong mga iba nating manalaro Nakikita natin si Jeffrey Carriazzo The Philippines played well in that first half, Kinito, definitely Well, definitely very fluid ang mga galaw no? uh, Ng ating uh, centennial team At uh, maganda rin ang uh, paghugot ni Coach Tim Cohn Ng mga player niya no? Now, there was a uh, mukha yatang technical foul Ang naibigay sa Philippines no? Yun ang bumati sa atin dito sa yes. second half at si Lastimosa converting. So the Philippines now on top by 17, 49 to 32. Just about 15 seconds gone by. Almost stolen there by number 11 man, Marawani. Again, mahaba kasi kamay ni uh, number 11 player. No? And the uh, Philippines, I guess, must realize that they are going up against players who are tall and who have long arms. Eh, ito naman. Wala naman siguro yung tatalo dito sa <laughs> kahabaan ng uh, kamay ni uh, Manu Aquino. Oh. He gets that rebound. Of that miss by Al Jahani. Disinuebe na po ang abante ng Pilipinas. The Philippines starting out with the same starting lineup that they used noong first half. Nice pass, Lastimosa. Good luck oh. pero kumalog, oh, lumabas yung tira. Masyadong malakas lamang pero maganda yung tingin sa kanya sa loob ni Meneses. Oh, partner, um, yung uh, starting lineup combination ni Coach Tim Kono, that's something that he has... Uh, uh, put together since the China game. Oh. Fact, after the China game, sabi niya, dapat siguro start niya sina Patrimonio and Lastimosa together. The two veterans to set the tone for the game. Muntik no? ng pumasok yung alley play. Well, mga veterano na nga itong pinasok ni Coach Tim Kuhn. Of course, lahat yung veterano, but these are the more senior ones. Miss shot by Said. Well, actually, both teams missing no? from close range. Habarientos, inahabol ni Albusais. Menezes now kicks it out. Johnny faking a shot. Ito mo yung zona ng uh, Saudi Arabia. Patrimonyo na ipit. Look, oh, they're looking for the weakness. Ayun, yung tira. Kumalog na naman. And makikita mo rin yung Pilipinas. Uy, merong konting uh, injury dito. Let's see. May tama ba yata sa balikat dito si number 11 player. The big man, the 6'9 player, si Hassan Marwani. And that's bad news for Pat Stewart. He needs all the men to match up with the Fili against the Philippines here. Alam mo, one, one thing's very obvious is to take a look at this last piece of action. Ito yung nangyari. It's a semi-hook kanina ni Marlo Aquino, the skyscraper, contributing now. He had two early fouls in this uh, game, but in and out siya nung first half. Nakikita natin si Marawani. Well, he's the tallest player in the Saudi team. And, uh, well, the score naman si Falata, Mokhtar. Palata, who stands 6 6. Lead is down somewhat to 17. Two minutes gone by here. Ah, Barrientos na sapal ka. Medyo that time. Hindi nasukat ni Johnny yung tangkat nitong si uh, Falata. And he's rejected inside. Good defensive stop for the Saudis. Minis, kitang kita mo naman yan. You know, one thing I noticed kinito in this second half is that the Philippines is. And in this game, actually, the Philippines is very patient with their offense. Hindi na nila minamadali yung kanilang shots. Yes, ang ginagawa yata ng Philippines. Uh, 
is uh, binabasa nila muna kung anong depensa ng kalaban. Yes. Once they feel, they have a feel of what kind of defense is being presented to them, doon nila inaatake. No? Unlike nung unang laban nila sa China, medyo parang nagmamadali, no? gigil yes. na magpakita. In the meantime, wala yung tira ni Meneses, rebound going to the Saudis. Good look yung kay Meneses, no? hindi lang pumasok yung bola. Well, kanina nakita natin si Abarientos was blocked from behind. Now, I'm sure Johnny Abarientos wouldn't mind getting blocked. I mean, if he's gonna get blocked, he'd rather get blocked from behind than in front. That's right. Kanya... Kasi yung bola, no, maaaring sa'yo pa uli, no? Yes. Abarientos, go! Nice bounce pass, good fake by Marlo. Nasapal si Marlo ni Falata. He picks it up, goes up again, fall away. Yes, sabi ni Marlo, hindi pwedeng dalawang beses partner. Wala pang gumagawa sa akin nun. And Marlo Aquino banging away with four points here in the second half. Oh, very I... determined si Marlo Aquino. Yes. Kanya, he was saddled with uh, early foul trouble and he feels that he should not let the Philippines down. Kanya, kita mo naman ang level of play ni Marlo Aquino. Very intense ang laro ni Marlo. Also, again, in the international game partner, no? the few minutes that you have on the court, dapat talaga you have to play 100% because baka mamaya, eh, mauubusa ka na ng oras. No? You will have your time on the bench and... Uh, Coach Tim Cohn, of course, is looking for to rotate 12 players in this game. Said gets inside, or rather, Aljihani gets inside, and there's going to be a foul called against Jojo Lastimosa, it seems. For our first match, it was a 21st William Jones Cup sa Taipei po. Nice drive, wala yung tira, however, by number six man, uh, Khalifa Abariantos. Well, babibilis nang bumababa yung mga Saudis. Uh, and defense, kanya no opportunity to score in transition. Ito si Alvin Patrimonio, beautiful cut. Do sa gitna niya kinuha yung tira. And Patrimonio has been perfect from the field here. Three out of three para kay Patrimonio. Oh, nice block by Patrimonio on Aljehani. And good retrieve by Verhel Menezes. Tino mo, nagtutulungan yung mga player. Oh, no? Makikita block, mo na yung may, chemistry. Uh, yes. Oh, napitawan, all... however, ni Abarientos yung leather. Hinahabol niya si Khalifa. Here's Albosayas, the reverse. Nice move. For Albosayes, one of the more uh, athletic, athletic oh, yes, players. players in Saudi. Oh, oh maganda yung uh, ginawa ni uh, number 12 player, getting it on the reverse. Only 6 one and a half, but uh, oh, oh. si Albosayes is already 35 years old. Huh? Abarientos, Oops. napanga. Walang foul. Si Johnny, oh, foul. Yes. yes, there will be a foul. Well, kanina, medyo nagbadali si Johnny Abarientos, kanya siya naagawan. No? Oh, oh. Um, very clear, the Philippines trying to set the pace, no? and trying to create pace para yung tempo of the game nasa kanila dinidikta ng Philippines no? but of course when you do that you tend to gamble baka ka naman right. ng bola so you have to be careful while uh, ito again a lapse in concentration by Johnny siya naman na naagawan muli and Johnny na will be three point for play. the foul yes Johnny will be called on that uh, for a foul on that layup by Ahmad Falata and goes to show you here in the amateur or international game, no, you have to be alert all the time. Yes. Ang intensity level palagi mataas, and you cannot afford lapses in concentration. Kasi mabilis ang score dito eh. Tsaka, this is a short tournament, so yes. hindi tayo pwedeng uh, babanjing banjing. Ahmad Falata at the free throw line. The Saudis actually lived from the line back in the first half. They only had one field goal. They only shot almost six percent. Was six lamang mga kaibigan. I'm not joking. One out of 17 oh, oh. for our late tuners. <laughs> from ang, the uh, two-point range. From the two-point range. And they, however, they shot 68.2% from the free throw line. Ngayon lang ako nakakita ng statistic na gano'n. 5.9%. <laughs> Two-point field goal shooting in the first half by Saudi Arabia. Ang Pilipinas, sa bante ng labing pitong puntos, they have not looked back in this ball game ever since we started. Eto, looking to run the triangle. Nakakuha sila ng puntos from the triangle. Beautiful move. Abarientos who had six points back in the first half. Getting another basket from the outside. Sablay ang tira sa labas. Lastimosa. Rush or yes. hurrying. At kita mo yung ball. gang rebounding ng Philippines. No, tatlong. Oh. Oh, tatlo sila. Kinahabol nila yung rebound as against only one from Saudi. Dennis Espino, tinatauhan ngayon. In a double team ni Albusais. Inside. Let's see. There's a whistle blown here. And there will be a foul. Diyan magaling si Dennis Espino, no? Once he moves inside, tapos he fakes on the left, tapos titira siya on the right. Mukhang traveling. Mukhang ang traveling. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> sinasabi ko lang, hypothetical. Uh, hypothetical. hypothetical. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi natin narinig yung pito eh. <laughs> Medyo punersa naman ni Dennis yun. But, uh, uh, hindi kasi masyadong gumagalaw yung kanyang, yung kanyang mga kakampi. No? Again, when you run the triangle, you need good movement without the ball and good spacing. 
Hassan Ahani is now in the game. He gets the lead pass from Oops. number 10, Falata. And May foul ay uh, Alvin. Oh, uh, Mihingi pa ng deliberate foul. Yung si Alsana Hani. Nice lead pass ah, from Falata. Good catch. Patrimonio is committed. Oh. <laughs> Sumapit siya. <laughs> Medyo basa ka set yan. Oh. Alam naman natin kung gano'ng kapigat ito si Alvin. <laughs> At ngayon si Alsana Hani is at, is at the line. 6 4 31 years old. Well, again, that's the habit of playing in the pro game, no? Because uh, in a situation like that, after the foul, it's possible that uh, a layup shot would have been converted. Kanya, mm. ang philosophy ni Alvin Patrimonio, do not give up the, pos the possibility of a three-point play. That's right. Dalawa na po ang free throws ng Saudi Arabia. Philippines still on top by 17 here. Although sa international rules partner, nabihira sila nagbibigay ng continuation. Yes. Natalis talagang Get nandun na, nakasubo na yung bola, no? Coast to coast drive, offensive rebound at sa kamay. And it's picked up by number 12, Albo Saiz. Nice touch passing. Palata losing the leather. Well, it's tough if you're a big man, you have to put the ball on the floor when you're that close and inside the lane. Nakadang defense ng Philippines. That's Anahani with the leather. Ligay ngayon kay Parnawi. Parton, nakadang defense ni Alvin. You notice, he had to change the shot. Asking for the foul, no foul given. And a loose ball foul will be called instead. Ah, oh. Laban kay Mokhtar Falata. Sila pa. Sila pa naka-foul. Naka Mapupunan mo rin ngayon. Kinito medyo nagtitipid ng uh, Pilipinas. Yung ating kumpunan sa kanila mga fouls. And now, I think magkakaroon tayo ng timeout mga kaibigan. Abante po ang Pilipinas dito sa Jones Cup. And the Philippine crowd continues to whip it up there in Taipei. Back to action here sa ating uh, first game dito sa Jones Cup. Abarientos takes a flutter of a shot and what a move from Johnny A. And the Philippines now on top by 19. At mukhang medyo minamanin natin ngayon yung depensa ng uh, Saudi Arabia. Kinito, huh? 12 minutes that, and 8 seconds. Depensa rin natin, napakatindi, no? Oh. Ito, Saudi Arabia, they're having a difficult time getting good shots off. Tipin, wala pa rin. Finally, Again, inside. Again, it's the offensive rebounding of uh, Saudi Arabia. No boxing out. Three attempts. On that uh, offensive thrust ng uh, Saudi Arabia. Mokhtar Falata getting the follow-up. At ang abante po ng Pilipinas natapya sa labing pito. 59 to 42. Under 12 minutes to play in the second half. Again running or trying to run the triangle using Dennis Espino. Iniikot-ikot ni Jojo Lastimosa. Espino at the low block. Inilabas ki Lastimosa no, takes a three-point shot. Kumalog. Rebound by Barnawi. Almost there, pero maganda yung pasa. At uh, ito si Giorgio Lastimosa had a good line on that shot. Inside, Barnawi forces that one. And Lastimosa gets the leather. Lastimosa pa rin, binigay kay Verhelm Meneses, who's been quite silent in scoring. Pero kanina siya nagpasimula ng puntos para sa Pilipinas. There's a, there's a tap out by the Saudis. As touched by Falata. At si Jun Limpot, papasok muli sa laro. Pinatay niya si Verhel Meneses. Constant shuffling of players ang ginagawa ni uh, Coach Tim Cohn. Mm. Always looking for the best combination and fresh legs. No? Alvin Patrimonio is in the game. He's played good defense. He's been perfect from the field, uh, actually. At saka si Johnny Abarrientos, of course, also has been hitting his stride. Kenneth Durandes is also in the game now. He was our top scorer noong pong first half. At talagang uh, nagpakita ng Intensity to see Kenneth Duremdes. Abarietos. Wala. Bola na tapik palabas. Let's see. It will remain with the Philippines. Again, we welcome you to our special coverage. Dito po sa VTV. Ng 21st William Jones Cup International Basketball Tournament. Where our PBA Centennial team is uh, participating in a parang tune-up nila patungo sa Bangkok Asian Games. Oh, partner in this situation, dapat mag-ingat ang Philippines because yung number 11 player ng Saudi, bumalik na naman. No? He's 6'9", at wala tayong malaki ngayon. Wala tayong malaking sentro. Um, Coach Tim Cohn is uh, keeping Marlo Aquino and EJ File on hold for the time being. And there is a foul on that play. Hassan Marawani going up. Eh, yun yung malaki nila. Oo, oh, at ang tinawagan ng foul, tila si Dennis Espino. Panoorin natin ulit ito. From this angle, there's the fake. Marunong din gumalaw, eh, no? pero wala siya yung parang sidestepping move, wala siya yung uh, pivot. Hindi niya masyadong ginagamit. Apart na dito si Hassan had 12 points. 
in uh, the Saudis lost to Japan. Actually, they played Japan twice in the ABC last September. And he had 15 points against the United Arab Emirates, Nanalo and Saudi Arabia, 96 or 90 to 76. Also, the ABC last uh, September. Hindi ba itong Saudi Arabian team na ito ang nagbigay din ng talo sa China? That's right, in 1993. Yes, 1993, 74-69 overtime win by uh, Saudi Arabia over China. The coach nila no, at that time is now the international scout of the Charlotte Hornets, Joe Betancourt. Diba? So itong kapanan na ito, eh, hindi po pipitsugin ito. Hindi pwedeng sabihin na uh, madaling itulak. And certainly, this is a good showing for our PBA Centennial team. We're on top by 19, under 10 minutes to play here. Input. Natapik Palabas, handled last by Johnny Abarientos. Well, nakikita natin si Dennis Espino is getting a lot of playing time playing center. Yes. So, uh, ginagamit siya ni Coach uh, Tim Cohn. Actually, first man off the bench to relieve Marlo Aquino, oh. si Dennis Espino. Well, banggitin natin ginito na si Andy Siegel is not in Taipei. He is not joining the team. And so that's why si Dennis Espino has also had to play a lot of minutes. Si Andy Siegel, of course, is isa ng pinakamalalaking ng mama. Si EJ Faltaina played briefly. Offensive rebound, Hassan puts it back in. And the Saudis now coming up with a couple of baskets to cut yes. down that Philippine lead to 17. Well, yun ang sinasabi natin. No? You've got to put a body between Hassan and that basket. Hindi siya makakuha ng offensive rebounds. And here's another rebound play. Aba, tumatakbo ngayon ang Saudi. Abandi si Albosayes. And yes. Isinubo na lamang. That's four straight points. Well, partner, ito si number 12 player ng uh, Saudi. He is the best finisher on the break. He's the most athletic player yes. on the floor for Coach Pat Stewart. And the Saudi Arabian team now making a run. Ito sa ating PBA Centennial team. Espino. Kicks it out. Kay Dick is in the ballgame. De Remdes sa kanto. Pasa niya. Muntik na maagaw. Very dangerous pass. Si Ahmad Falata was there to bother that one. Apart from that, it's a good man to man now in Saudi Arabia, which is the reason why it's good for the Philippines on the triangle. Yes. We've been able to get the points from the outside. We've been able to get the points from the outside. Kaitik from the outside. No. Offensive rebound. Well, Kaitik was down on the floor. Yes. I don't know why we didn't call that foul. I think this foul is on the rebound play, not on Alan Kaitik. Instead, they called Al Busay as a foul. Pat Stewart, the American head coach of the Saudi Arabian team, continues to think about this one. What about you, Mama Sakin? As we will have a in baseline inbound. Well, baptism of fire here for uh, Saudi Arabia. But uh, you remember, of course, on oh, beautiful inbound on. play. Yes. Beautiful pass from Abarientos. No look pass oh, right no, on the no. last second. And si Limpot ang libre ng libre. Iba yung tinitig ni uh, Johnny Abarientos. Oh. 17-point lead once again for the Philippines. The PBA Centennial team. There's a steal by oh, Johnny yes. Abarientos oh, behind beautiful. the back dribble. Here's Ito Johnny A. Binigay ki Alan Kedik. Binaglag ki Dennis Espino. Oh, plus yes. one. And the Philippines showing why they are maybe one of the favorites here. And a tremendous passing play on the fast break for the PBA Centennial team. Right there. Again, igniting that fast break. Johnny Abarientos with the steal. Meron pa siyang behind the back. Ito, Ito. yung pasa. One, it's one pass and two. Alan Kaidik giving it up. Sumakay ka pa. Oh. And you know what's uh, yung talagang difference ng ating laro? Makikita mo yung uh, paglalaro natin talagang estilo ng Amerikano. You know? There's really that um, NBA brand of play. Very yes. very flashy. Tamata lang yung Saudi Arabians. Oh. Parang very robotic. And not only that, no, parang nakikita natin ngayon, no? especially in this game, that the Philippines is now beginning to get very well adjusted to the international game. Exactly. Marami na silang ginagawang adjustments, no? both defensively and offensively, that already are show marked improvement from uh, how they played against China in the Southern Exhibition. In the first place, they're already running. We have seen a lot of fast break points para sa Pilipinas in this ball game. In fact, in the first half, eh, tayo talagang magandang pers shooting percentage. Al Jihani. Si Steve Smith na naman na nakakuha ng foul. <laughs> Pati yata, number, pareho. Oh, Steve Smith. Ba, kamukha ni Steve Smith talaga eh. Uh, hindi naman kaya si Steve Smith ito na... Na Aljihani ang pangalan. <laughs> oh, Steve Aljihani. <laughs> Foul called against Aljihani there. Bola po, babalik sa Pilipinas. By the way, we'd like to thank FedEx, our transportation company, for the Jones Cup coverage. FedEx will live to deliver. And there's a shot by Dennis Espino sa Blay. Tapik, napunta sa Saudi Arabia. 
Well, sayang yung tira ni Dennis Espino, pero dapat yun sure shot, no? If you're that close to the basket, no? If you're unmolested, dapat yun sure shot. Inside shot. This one will go, number four. Yun ang sinasabi natin, no? Si Said. Oh, you have to go for the best possible way to put that ball inside the hoop, no? Oh. Once you're that close. Six and a half remaining. Dito po sa ating second half. We're still on top by 18 points. Pero malayo lang. Medyo itong Saudi, nag-ahabol. Dennis Espino's inside. Nasa palambagya ni Hassan. Loose ball picked up by number four. But there's gonna be a foul here. Called against Jun Limpot. Makikita mo, may depensa rin yung Saudi Arabian sa loob eh. No? Medyo nung ngayon, nagihigpit na sila. And uh, the Philippines not to make not making too many outside shots now, un well, unlike parang, in the oh. first half. Well, para nakita natin man-to-man -man defense ang uh, ang ginawa ng uh, Saudi Arabia that time, no? And uh, they have a distinct advantage now when they do that because marami sila malalaki. Oh. So you know you're able to uh, make it difficult for the long-range shooters, not to take off for their shots. So you need to use quickness against that height advantage of Saudi. Only six minutes remaining in the second half. There's. Uh, Aljahani, the tip in by Hassan, wala pa rin. Well, nandiyan na si EJ File, no? Yes. Kenneth Duremdes taking on the point guard position. Waldo Racelas uh, there. Maganda yung adjustment ni Coach Tinto. Nakikin niyo siguro ito si Hassan, 6'6'9", six, six, lording it over the boards. Kanya uh, pinasok niya si EJ File. But Dennis Espino is still there, no? Oh, uh -huh. Good hustle on the part of Hassan, tapping that ball out. It will remain with the Philippines. Again, we're happy to have you with us, Philippines, for our first day covering the Jones Cup. Ako po si Noli Yala, kasama si Kinito Henson. And the Philippines campaign here in the uh, Jones Cup, certainly a big build-up patungo sa Bangkok Asian Games. So there's going to be a foul laban kay Said as Dennis Espino made his move. Mapartan, magandang ginagawa ni Coach uh, Tim Gona. You notice that Dennis Espino is low posting. Uh -huh. But he has another option. No? Nandiyan si EJ, EJ file, file for the possible offensive rebound. So, meron siya dalawang post options now. And uh, Dennis Espino at the line. Magandang balance uh -huh. ng Philippine team. No? Every, every, any combination that Coach uh, Tim Cohn has on the floor, meron siya isang magaling na outside shooter, meron siya mga post possibilities, um, meron siyang quickness, meron siyang height. Maganda talaga ang balance na pinapakita ng Philippine team sa lakon. Dennis Espino, five points in the ball game, tatlong assist na, isang rebound. Well, ang uh, twin tower combination, isa sa mga poste ng Santa Lucia sa PBA. And a top pick. Back in 1995, Dennis has been off that save by Olsen Rosella. Oh, si Olsen, talagang go, go, go. Ra, ra, Rosella. Oh, nice pass, the Remdes. Oh, oh, oh hindi pa 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 yung dak -dak, but a tremendous play may follow ever na itinawag. Napapangiti si Alan Kaitik. <laughs> Ang ganda nun, yung triangulong yun, ha? Ang ganda nung pasa. You can see that they're really moving yes. well now. Watch it again. There's that no-look no pass, look. bounce pass pa. Dadak-dak sana nito Remdes, nabitawan lamang yung bola. And then there's gonna be a foul. Ang From another ng angle, ang ganda. Ang taas ng lipad ni Dorendes. Yung nga lang, I think he overshot the rim and he missed the dunk shot. But he will go to the stripe. Well, nasabi naman ni Kenneth, the reason why he misses because napaw siya. Napaw daw siya. Oh, oh, Napitawan okay. niya yung bola. Kaya ano. <laughs> Pero, Pero napakaganda ng pass. At saka, well, I think more than the pass, it's the familiarity. Ha, kita natin, si Alan Kaidik is not a teammate of Kenneth Dorendes oh, sa PBA. No? Oh. Yet, no, without looking at Kenneth Torrendes, alam niya na dadaan doon si Kenneth. So medyo yung triang triangle offense ngayon ni Tim Cohn, mukhang nagpapasimula ng gumiling. There, the players are beginning to get familiarized and really play within that system. Actually, in any kind of offense, you really need familiarity. Oh. Especially yung sa pick and roll na ginagawa din nila. No? You need to be able to know kung saan gagalaw yung, yung, yung kakape after you give the pick. Kung saan ro-roll o kung magro-roll. No? Oh. Kung minsan kasi mag-fade and pass eh. Kasi nagkakalituhan. Samantala si Hassan, uy, binangga ni EJ File. Si Hassan, no foul. Libre si Dennis Espino. Binombandira, bumasok. That will count. Plus a foul. And Ito so... Sa, yung Saudi Arabia, eh, medyo nag-flapping doon. No? Oh. Umabot na pala sa Saudi Arabia, medyo flapping. Ano? Ayan si Hassan. Siya yung tinamaan uh, ng konting katawan ni EJ File. Well, oh. Hindi konti yun dahil napakalaki nun. Well, buti naman hindi ko magat yung referee natin. No? Hassan down on the floor. And post the post to see Hassan. Matala si Dennis Espino will go back to the free throw line. Big second half para kay Dennis Espino. 
playing very well here. Yes, and getting a lot of minutes, if you notice. No? Oh. He's sharing time at the post no, with EJ File. Well, at this juncture. But uh, more than that, yung kanyang defense. Ang ganda ng defense ang pinapakita ni Dennis. Although, Tinito, kailangan siguro tayo mag-practice sa free throw line. Huh? We've been missing a lot yes. of free throws. Oh. Something that uh, maybe an area of improvement para kay Coach Tim Cohn. Eh, not only that, no, but also yung giving up foul. So the free throw line has been a factor here. Oh. Both, number one, yung ating uh, free throw shooting really needs to improve. At pangalawa, we're giving up too many fouls. Ito, another foul. A push coming from EJ File. Ito. And that will send the, the big man, Hassan Marawani, back to the line, 6-9. Ang tindig nitong si Hassan. And uh, Pitarano na ito, he's 33 years old. Already with six points today. Big numbers from the rebounds. Pangalawa niya, supply pa rin. Offensive rebound ni Aljahani, tinalo si EJ File. Nilabas ki Falata. Uh, yun ang unforgivable part there, no? Hindi pwede yun. EJ yun. File should have been there for the defensive board. Pakita mo, si Kaitik pa kumuha ng rebound. Oh. <laughs> Lead pass, Kenneth Duremdes now. They will slow it down. Yun ang sinasabi natin. Very patient na ngayon ng Pilipinas pagdating sa kanilang offense. Hindi nila pinipilit. Oh, There's oh. a triangle. Good oh. steal from behind. And Falata is bothered by Alan Kaitik. And the trigger man will pick up a foul. That's another foul by the Philippines. But EJ File again losing concentration. You cannot afford to have lapses like that in international game. No? Saka sa laki niya, dapat hindi niya na binababa yung bola. Well, actually, what he did was he outstretched with outstretched arms. No? Nilayun niya yung bola sa kanyang katawan. And uh, you cannot do that. No? Kung gagawin mo yun, that will invite someone to come in from behind and tip that ball away. Yun talaga nangyari. Dapat yung bola malapit sa katawan mo to uh, give it protection. Ahmad Falata at the free throw line, 5'11", one of the point guards ng uh, Saudi Arabia. Silang dalawa ni Khalifa ang nagpapalitan dyan. He had the two triples. Pangalawa niya, pasok din. And... Well again, uh, just to remind our uh, late viewers, no? iba kasi yung pangalan ng uh, binabasa natin from our uh, finalized roster. Yes. From the roster that is being shown on the graphics. No? Exactly. So, kumisa, nag, uh, nag-iiba yung mga pangalan sinasabi natin. Huwag niyo pong akalayan na kami ni Kinito ay nagkakamal na, ano na, natutuling na sa mga pangalan. <laughs> Alan Gaidik, open from three. Yes! Oh, yes! PLDD long distance shot number two para kay Alan Gaidik. He ended the first half with a triple and he struck strikes again dito sa second half. Outside shot, number nine, that's uh, Alsanahani, missing that one badly. Olsen and Rosella. Again, tumatakbo na naman ng Philippines, and Olsen Rosella. Uy, binomba pa sa inyo na kulungas! Rara Rosella showing that even the small men can do it inside para sa PBA Centennial team. Watch this move again from Rosella. Side-stepping scoop shot. Yes. Ganda, ganda. Highlight film and, talaga, no? And I'm sure the San Miguel team na nanonood ngayon kayo nito, tuwan-tuwa din sa oh, ginagawa. Oh, oh. Kanina si Kaidik, ngayon naman si Rosella. And the Philippines now with a big, big lead here in the second half, coasting along to what seems like a sure victory now as ang Saudi Arabia mukhang uh, slowly. Oh, partner, back-to-back -back San Miguel connection na nangyari, no? Exactly. Three-point shot ni Kaidik, tapos si uh, Rosella. Ito naman ang Tulusia connection. Pero tinawagan ng traveling si Hindi, Dennis Espino. Not a good connection daw. Hindi po basok yung uh, tira. Um, nullified yung uh, shot ni uh, Dennis uh, Espino. 20-point lead po para sa PBA Centennial team. And Dennis Espino now given a rest by Coach Tim Cohn. A well-deserved rest para kay Dennis De Menes. Only that much time remaining here before we post our first win near steal by Kenneth Duremdes. Again, the deflection, one of the things that Coach uh, Tim Cohn stresses in playing defense, sometimes even if you don't, uh, if you're not able to create a turnover, basta makakuha ka lang ng deflection, you break up the play. Nabubulabog na ang offensive movement ng kalaban. Ababa na po ang oras dito sa ating first game sa Jones Cup. And certainly the Philippines with an impressive debut. Dito sa Taipei. Nasa poste, losing his footing. And the Philippines gets the ball away. That was uh, Mokhtar Falata. Doremdas from the outside. Wala. EJ File. Nagkakaroon ng pushing foul. Laman ki EJ File. Yun ang hindi niya nang uh, gawin ano kinito. He's so tall. Yes. Nakaya nang abutin yung bola. Dahil dun sa mas maliit ang kanyang kalaban. Well, Partner ang nangyayari to si EJ File. Allows also someone to get in between him and the basket. Which should not happen. No? Mm -hmm. Dapat ma-establish niya ang kanyang rebounding position. 
so that pag talbog ng bola sa kanya, siya na lang kukuha nun because nobody is taller than EJ Fall on the floor. Yes. Well, mukhang si Coach Tim Cohn is getting ready to bring back in Marlo Aquino. Jeffrey Cariaso in the ball game together with Jun Limpot. Habang nagpumuporma sa linya, si Said. Ano bang format dito sa Jones Cup kinita? Will this be a single round robin or are they a group? Ano ba ito? Yes, they are a group partner. No? There are two groups here. At tapos magkakaroon tayo ng crossover semifinals. Top two teams from either group will face each other. Number one versus number two of the other group. And uh, and similarly no, from the other group. No? So one versus two. Crossover appearance in the semifinals. Kung sinong manalo, automatically will go to the finals in a one-game Standoff playoff. All right, so medyo na tayo na uuna na dito with our with this impending win. The meantime, there was a technical foul called against Saudi Arabia. And under amateur rules, this would mean two free throws. Your second shot will be boss in play. Kenneth Duremdes at the free throw line. Leading MVP contender ng PBA and of course Nanalo siya ng best player of the conference sa huling Commissioner's Cup natin. Kenneth Duremdes now top scoring for the Philippines. Total of 16. And to think, partner, in 1994 sa Asian Games sa Hiroshima, ito si Kenneth Duremdes was an amateur oh. addition to the team. Kasama si Marlo. Ah, kasama si Marlo. Well, si Johnny Abariento, si Alvin, si Alan Gaidik also played on that uh, squad. 22-point lead para sa Philippines. This is our biggest lead with only two and a half remaining in the second half. Inside pass, Said is blocked by Marlo Aquino, but he will be called for the foul. Downstairs. At this situation, although he had early foul trouble, he might as well gamble. It's all right, no? Mm -hmm. uh, even if he fouls out, marami namang kapalit. And he's just got to be able to play 100% with time running down. He wanted to gamble, and he picked up the foul, but he stopped the layup. Yan ang kaibahan when you start playing for a national team. Dahil Doon sa Hinebra, of course, siya yung uh, main attraction, siya yung kaisa sa player sa gitna na aasahan ng kopuna ng Hinebra. But here in the PBA Centennial team, certainly ang daming pwedeng pamalit na pwedeng gamitin si Coach Tim Cohn. Well, totoo yan. But of course, there is only one skyscraper, no? Exactly. And uh, Marlo Aquino is going to be badly needed, no? Especially going up against teams like Korea at saka China. Our next game will be against Japan. And that will be... Brought to you again by VTV. In the meantime, Kenneth Durendes continues to puncture yes. that hoop. He has Sapanaka played oh. very well. Sapanaka ako ng offensive rebound oh. niya, no? But uh, you notice that the Philippines taking a lot of shots from three-point range, no? So they're practicing that shot. Ito yung uh, good movement ng Saudi Arabia getting the shot to fall inside. It's again Said. Si Said na naman. Si na Said na talagang kung sinusto. <laughs> Manorin natin yung galaw ni Said. Sinadsad yung kanyang katawan. Ah, mukha ng isang NBA player ito. Hindi si George Gervin. Mukha yata si Larry Kino ng... Uh, <laughs> Ikaw talaga ako sino. Maraming nga nakikita dito. Oh. Eh, na... Well, Said, now beginning to crank up his offense. Ayaw. Pero medyo huli na. Three-point play completed by Said. Asintado rin ito si Said. Eh. Oh. Si Mineses na nagdadala ng bola. Lamang po tayo ng dalawang puntos. Under two minutes to play here in the second half. You know, one thing we've noticed along ito, no? uh, there was just one mild run yes. that was launched by Saudi Arabia. Maliban doon, totally in control ang Philippines. No? Uh, they've been able to stand off itong uh, Saudi Arabia. They've been able to preserve their big leads the first uh, half. Anong nakikita mo dito, Kinito, as we wind down this game? Uh, na konti pang pwede nating improve, uh, especially when we go up against Japan in our next well, game. Well, part there two things. Now, number one, we cannot afford to give up too many offensive rebounds sa kalaban. Now, number two, yung ating tendency to commit fouls. You put the other team into early penalty situation, that's going to haunt us. On the other hand, ano na naman ang nakita mo dito na talagang napakaganda na ginawa ng Pilipinas? Well, yung fluid uh, offensive movement ng Philippines, no? looks like very familiar na sila sa isa't isa. At saka yung mga variations ng offense ng, uh, na ginawa ni Coach uh, Tim Ko. No? Hindi lang uh, exclusive triangle ang pinakita dito. No? Meron silang mga pick and roll plays, meron silang screen plays on the outside, meron silang double post. 
Daya, dami pinakita ni Coach Tim Ko, no? And of course, our and, fast, uh, this boats well. Our running game has also been pretty good. Yes. It was our thing first game sa Jones Cup. There's gonna be another foul against uh, Jun Ding Po. That's well, a penalty na po tayo. And additionally, yung depense ng, uh, ng Philippine team, no? Magandang maganda. Uh, for instance, yung uh, key player ng Saudi Arabia, si uh, Jihani, no? Was uh, uh, limited to just few attempts sa larong ito. Some areas to improve on, siguro sa turnovers din. Oh, oh dapat bawasan natin yan. At saka yung uh, free throw shooting natin, definitely, that has to improve. Si Jun Limpot now sitting down as the Saudis, number four Said, back at the free throw line. Ang ating PBA Centennial team, mga kaibigan, again, nabanggit nga natin, will go up against Japan and that game will be telecast on Thursday, September 3. Alas 9 ng gabi po, right after the coverage ng ating NCAA Games dito sa VTV. So abangan nyo po yan, ang ating buong kampanya sa Jones Cup will be brought to you by VTV. And certainly, mukhang marami tayong inaasahan na malaki dito sa ating kupunan. Of course, the Filipino support there in Taipei has been a big boost dito sa ating kupunan. That's the X factor, no? Six man ang tinatawag, the crowd support that the Philippines enjoys. Sa Taipei. Despite the rainy evening, and the yung ito ng mga ating mga patahan, hindi naman pinapahiya ito pa nilang uh, mga kababayan. Oh, oh. Oops. Bad pass. That's yes. another turnover. Although ito, medyo tambakan ali na to, Medyo scrub time na. Pero kailangan pa rin tayong hindi masyadong maging relax sa ating laro. Outside shot, Falata, wala. Rebound. Offensive rebound. Nasapal ni Marlo Aquino. He puts it back in. That's uh, Falata. And finally... He didn't make that shot. Finally, na kuha ng Pilipinas ang rebound. Half a minute remaining dito sa ating second half. You know, in that play, partner, that's what I mean when I say there's only one skyscraper. Ha? Ganda ng ginawa ni Marlo. Timing niya, no? He blocked that shot. And on the second attempt, he didn't bother to block it because he thought he might uh, commit a useless foul. No? He had a feeling that he didn't papasok yun because na intimidate the shooter. Oh. And that's what you call making use of the coconut. <laughs> Ito naman si Berhel Meneses. Ito, making use of the air, pero oh, tinawagan yes. ng offensive foul si Berhel Meneses. Yes, meron siyang konting uh, sipa doon. Yun din sa, yun din sa amateur, no? medyo konting uh, useless movement ng mga pa, tinatawagan ng offensive foul. Hindi kaya sa PBA, it's really the position na tinitingnan yes. dito. Oh, oh, oh. Iba kasi yung uh, uh, vision at saka yung philosophy ng mga amateur referees, and that's something that we also have to be adjusted to. 78-60 is our score. Only that much time remaining before we call this a game. At ang Pilipinas will pick up its first win. Ito po sa Jones Cup. A big, big win para sa kapunan ni Tim Cohn. And that will do it. Ito po sa ating unang laro. Ang Pilipinas nanalo po laban sa Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. 78-60 to 60 in an Tremendous debut para kay Coach Tim Cohn. So final score is 78 to 60 at panalo po tayo. Uh, first game po namin ito noong 1998 Jones Cup. Uh, preparation ito para po sa Asian Games sa Bangkok. And bakit ko po isinyer sa inyo ito? Kasi po para sa akin, uh, lahat po ng games namin dito sa Centennial Team ay eh, napakahalaga para sa akin dahil po uh, this was my last uh, stint sa national team and napakalaking bagay po na makapag-represent uh, sa bansa kaya po talagang masayang-masaya ako na napasama ako dito sa Centennial Team. So sana po nag-enjoy kayo and uh, see you sa next video. Sana po uh, patuloy niyong suportahan ng aking channel. Salamat po.